I'm going to give you a couple of statistics that jump around a little bit, but uh, African Americans, African Americans leave less than $5,000 inheritance on average. Total. And that's after working 40, 50 something years. People that are on the old system of retirement are going to fare pretty better, but that's only a very short period of, of American history that people were working under this beautiful system where you know you work for 30, 40, 50 years and you retire on this, this pretty large uh, pension, right? And at one point you had the pension plus social security, plus your savings that you, I mean, you had to do people to live in right. That's gone. And it ain't coming back. Believe that. You is on your own. And so, you know, Everybody think they know what the, they're talking about. You better know. You absolutely better know. I was talking to a lady recently, and she says, well, because with Pay Yourself First, which I'm going to talk to you guys about, you can basically turn that into a business, which is probably the best way to use it as a home-based business. That's the best way to use it. You can take it strictly as a product. But the best use of it is probably a home-based business. And it is what I'm talking about that makes the, make achieving these goals fun, easy, and expensive and effective. <clears throat> it, uh, it actually does help. She's like, well, she get $4,000 back a year. I think she said $4,000 was at $8,000. So if, <clears throat> I'm not an accountant. Uh, I believe them and all of them are accountants. But when you start talking about... That refund, you know what a refund is. That's them giving giving you back your money, <laughs> right? That you probably could have gotten some interest on. But then again, interest right now is averaging about zero point three five. The bank is giving money to, or the Fed is giving money to the banks and the large white institutions for nothing. Right? They don't charge. They don't charge us nothing. The money is. Huh. Free. Right? right? And we can't, can't, you know, I can't get no money from a bottle. You know what I mean? I can't, they won't give me none. I don't know if they give y'all any, but I, I, <laughs> and if they do, they charge me just five, six percent. Even the car is 2.9 percent. You know, I pay taxes, government gave them billions of dollars, you know, then they're giving them free money, free grants, and all of this. Don't cost them nothing, but. Don't cost them nothing for the money. They're getting paid for the car, and they still charge me 2.9%. 3%, which is roughly 600% more than what I can give in the bank off of my money. Isn't it something? <laughs> huh? <clears throat> and this is the environment we find ourselves in. That's just a couple of examples. That's the environment we find ourselves in, where we've got to accumulate we got to make enough money to have uh, to enhance our lifestyle and accumulate enough to f to uh, uh, fund our retirement under the uh, the new benefits plans. Now you know the benefit is defined contribution 401k, right? You heard of the 401k? <laughs> they ought to call it the 401. KKK or something like that. That's not me. It, 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 I mean, it's, it's terrorism. Ter delayed terrorism. Unless they, unless they make mandatory laws within the next decade or so, America will, in America, the, uh, America will kill, literally murder, uh, more of its citizens than any other country in the history of the world. It will be the baby boomers. Oh, yeah. Now, why would I say that? The Mayo Clinic, a very venerable and respected medical organization. People respect the Mayo Clinic. Most of the big executive friends of mine, they go up to the Mayo Clinic to get checked out to get their clean bill of health. Well, I've been to the Mayo. Some of them go to John Hopkins. So we know they, uh, at least people say they know what they're talking about. And they say the major cause of death after age 65 the worries over money. I can assure you of something, the baby boomers, a good portion of them been born after a certain period of time. That will be their biggest worry in life, money. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. 
So, even though I think I'm supposed to keep my my talk within a certain range, I am compelled simply be, I have compassion to share with you just a little bit of my perspective. And I'm not I'm not showing you or talking about anything you don't know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing we can't save no damn money? You can't save no money. I know how much money you got in the bank on average. It's probably, <laughs> you know, it's only a, it's a rare person that can save money. We don't even put money away when they when they go when the job matches. That's that 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 has to change some kind of way.